It has now been several years since the attack by the creatures that rose from the depths of the ocean and threatened to destroy all life on Earth. The death toll was high that day, particularly on the east coast of the United States. But thankfully, a team of specially trained pilots commandeered the Armada Military Robot Series and went to battle with the beasts. These brave soldiers and their massive high-tech armors saved the planet from certain destruction. Despite the success of the Armadas, the destruction is widespread and rebuilding the areas hit the hardest has been slow. Preventing another such catastrophe is the topic of much heated debate amongst the military, the State Department, and other national security forces. But rest assured, patrols from the sea, on the land, and in the air remain steadfast on preventing such a horrible event from occurring again. Nuclear submarines even comb the ocean's floor as part of the vigilante line of defense. It's now been years of peace and quiet, and the entire world is about to breathe again. This is Neptune's nest. Intrepid Gull, do you copy? Yeah, I'm not dead yet. How's Red Sector today? Sonar isn't showing anything right now. Have you been drinking? <laughs> I'm retired. Sort of. Have you been running the multiple ray sonar today? Yeah, a little bit. Hey, you're still on the payroll. Yeah, I've been running every day this week. Nothing to show. Hold on a second, I spoke too soon. I, uh, I got something here. You seeing this? Affirmative, intrepid goal. You are to take preemptive measures immediately. All right, relax. Probably just a minor tech drift. Depth mines are launched. First contact in five seconds. Four. Three, two, one. Contact one. Contact two, three, and four. All charges have made contact. Now I'm not showing anything. Copy, Intrepid Goal. We're deploying some submersibles to investigate. What the hell? They're back. It's not possible. Intrepid goal, you are to move two clicks southwest immediately. I say again, regroup with the flotilla. Copy that. No, 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 no. Holy shit, what the? Hey, bro, if you need help with the kids, you and Danny gotta do it on your own. They're back! What? They're back, man! You sure? They took down a battleship. It was heading towards shore. It's probably there by now. I swear, man, we found another one. Someone should be rolling up on you in a minute. The guy named Russo. I told everyone we're gonna see these things again. And I said we need to update the Armadas from day one. Well, now's your chance.
Well, here's your boy. All right. I'll hit you later. <sighs> Got him. Dr. Roth. My name is Russo, head of the Tactical and Security Division of Hellstrom's Labs. We're here to escort you safely to the facility. Yeah, I know. You mind if I go grab a change? We stop by your house. We have your things. They're in the car. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're burning daylights. Life. Uh, okay, well, that girl's crushing on you hard, so careful. She's right, she didn't charge you for your drinks. What? I'm sure that's not the case. She's known, maybe she made a mistake. Right, I'm sure that's what it was. <laughs> this is on me. you damn right it is. Have you guys heard anything about what's going down? All the higher ups were a little tense there. I think I even saw Worthington on the premises. I don't know. But I heard someone said they want to bring in that Dr. Roth guy that got fired a while ago. Dr. Roth? Yeah, that guy's super messed up. That's why he got fired in the first place. If you ask me, I think they made a mistake letting him go. He designed the original OS. He's the only one who truly knew the bots. All I know is Horwitz was pissed they were thinking about bringing in someone else. <laughs> Horwitz? She's super messed up, too. Should be fine. Tense times. <clears throat> That was a risky move. You should be more careful. Uh, and who's winning? Oh, he's got no skills. I must have some skills. Otherwise, I wouldn't be a squad leader. Mm. Between us, I think it's good that they're bringing in some extra help. We don't know what's coming. And if it's anything like last time, it's not going to be a walk in the park. Because they kicked those things asses last time. I say bring it on. I'm itching for some action, too, but what do we really know about these things? We know they're big, giant, ugly-ass motherfuckers, and they kill people. What else is there to know? There was this guy at training that said he actually saw one of these things with his own eyes. Said it was spitting fire. <laughs> what, like a dragon? Wait, don't believe everything you hear, Badger. Either way, these things are strong. Probably even stronger than us. I mean... I can't be the only one who's worried about these new bots, new OS, new everything. And the feedback pain, if the real deal is anything like what they put us through in simulation, <laughs> then we are screwed. Oh, babe, you afraid of pain? No, I'm concerned about performance. Yeah, Hammer has performance anxiety. <laughs> Seriously, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to defend this country, but I can't be the only one who feels like we're just not ready. You scared? Yes. You should be too. We never even got to field test these things. Okay, hey guys, we've been in the sim so much. If we're not ready now, we're never gonna be. You don't die in the sim. Are you afraid to die? Okay, you can't be if you wanna survive. I'm ready to die. Are you? Since the day I was born. Hoorah! <laughs> I know we really shouldn't be talking about this in a public place. She's right. Most of the time. Quit it with that charming shit. What has that ever gotten you? Free drinks? Mm -hmm. <sighs> you guys think we have time to hit the beach before we have to go back in? Well, I'm so sick of playing third wheel with you two wheelbarrows. What does that even mean? Figure it out. We're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? They're playing our song. Let's go. So catch me up. The creature made land. We're not sure what it's doing. It settled down along the shore and hasn't moved since. This is going to be as bad as it was the first time. Probably worse. Giant killer, this is Russo. You're on approach. Giant killer. 
Are you comfortable back there? No, not really. Good. What the hell is this place? Is 30 stories beneath ground. You have a call from line five. Hey, Maggie. Yeah? Seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah, and it doesn't look good. Karen, pick up. Alex, uh, I, I was just about to call you. Listen, get Sam and get out now. I'll meet you at a rendezvous. I'm seeing something really weird. They're back. What do you mean, they're back? Karen, where's Sam? Uh, she has my car. She was going to pick me up for lunch. OK, I'll meet you at the rendezvous. Let me know if you can't get her. I got to go now. I love you. Wait. Sam, call me as soon as you get this. It's an emergency. Try to keep up, Mr. Roth. Yes, sir. Dr. Roth, thanks for coming out so quickly. Did I have a choice? No. I'm General Worthington. The Pentagon sent me. Pentagon? This is more of a private facility. What's Chuck? <laughs> this falls under the Department of Defense. Mr. Rickman will not be present. OK. Larry Andrews tells me you've been caught up with everything so far. Is that correct? Yeah, sort of. So what's the deal here? The new bots aren't working, like Rickman and Mike and all the other geniuses thought they would. What do you want from me? You were working on a neural interface with artificial intelligence. Without the inference and transference of pain from machine to the pilot. The problem we had with the last Armada series. I gave you guys the solutions. You didn't want to use them. Look, lives are at stake here. Let's cut past that. Spinal cord stimulation generator. It reroutes the sensation of pain from the axon nerves and recycles them through the generator in an endless loop. So the pain message never makes it to the brain, essentially. It sounds easy, it's not. Let me guess. The DOD's neural transfer link bullshit method for mitigating pain failed to prove successful, and now you realize that you need to adapt my neurotransfer link to the bot's AI system. Is that, is that correct, Joe? Yes, sir. Let me show you something. These are the new Amada series military robots. Not bad. We need to try your neural link immediately. 
Let's do it. I assume you already have pilots that are trained to fly these things, right? Our pilots have been trained on simulators. But those simulators operated by the old AI software interface. So never. Red tape. What else is new? Dr. Horowitz, the buildings are crumbling like dirt. Are you telling me your bots are not ready? No, 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 Look, I can assure you that the Armada program is completely under control, okay? I can assure you that Roth nor anyone else is going to be a problem, not even the general. Look, Horowitz, with all due respect, someone with as little experience as you is, let's just say it's a tad bit disconcerting. I've been in this field for many years now. I've seen men and women die. And I was here the last time these goddamn things killed the people that I love right in front of me. Can you say the same for yourself? Well, then it's all on you. Mission accomplished, you'll get a medal. Mission failure, blood on your hands. More blood. Mr. Roth has arrived. I'll be right there. Ah, Dr. Horowitz. Has Naval Command reached you yet? No, not yet, Dr. Horowitz. This is Dr. J.P. Roth. He'll be assisting us for the robotics neuro interface. Nice to meet you. Hmm. I know who you are. I read your theory on quantum interconnectivity. Yeah. I thought it was very well thought out, you know, theoretically speaking, of course, but would it really work in reality? I don't know. Should I take that as a compliment? Maybe. Dr. Roth, Andrus is on a secure line for you. Thank you. Hello. You at the labs? Yeah, I'm gonna dial in my interface, see if I can get these bots up and running. Fantastic! Keep me posted! Will do. Hey, take care of yourself. Do the same. All right. Dr. Roth, if you will. There she is. <laughs> Old battle act. Ready to get activated? Yes, sir. So we change the operating system? Yeah, we on RoboNet. Are you kidding? My interface was designed to work with Python. What? What the? What was that? I don't know, but it wasn't good. I'm stuck in traffic. Sam, I, I, I need you to pick me up now. Well, pff, tell that to the idiot causing the traffic. OK, well, you need to find a different route. What, what's wrong? You're five minutes. Five minutes? Mom, I'm going to have to break a few laws. Five minutes. Don't stop for anyone or anything. Awesome. Wait, this isn't some kind of trick. I love you. Be safe. Python integrates better with brain mapping. I mean, it costs more, a hell of a lot more, but it's better for the crossover. RoboNet's like a dinosaur. Money's not an issue. This is life or death. Robot and Python RTC do share some common binary interface, but one wrong line of code, this whole place is going to blow. Have the pilots been brain mapped? They have. Great. <sighs> Look, I can only write so much code. Let me see those pilots. Room. I repeat, report to the side room as soon as possible. Bunch of kids. 
I hope we don't fry their brains. They've had training, Doc. What's going on, Doc? Why aren't the bots responding? That lag. I can't fix the lag without overhauling the entire software. There's no time for that, Doctor. These pilots are highly trained. They'll be able to compensate. I'm not sending these pilots up there to their death without control of their bots. You get it? My name is Hammer, sir. I knew the risks when I signed up for the job. They need us out there. Do you understand the problem we have here, Hammer? You have a lag. That's a delayed response in your brain's motor impulse to the bot's AI system. You'll never see a strike. You see, if you had a lag, you never would have seen that coming. I appreciate your concern, sir. We all do. That's all we got, Doc. I lost my family to those things three years ago. Please, let us do our jobs. All right, rig him up. Mom! Out. I'm driving. What? What's going on? We have to get out of town. What about work? Where's Dad? He's gonna meet us at Grandma's house. In Tennessee? Out there? This must be bad. Okay, who's ready? Ready, sir. Have a seat. Mr. Hammer, you're gonna feel a small shock. It will subside after a moment. Initializing. Activating. Yes, sir. Felt that. His head's all ready. Next victim, please. Call sign Bugs, sir. Bugs? Sting like a bee. That's original. Sit down. Initializing. I got it. <clears throat> Activating. Stun you? I can handle it. OK. Next victim. Call sign Badger, sir. Have a seat. Initializing. Activating. Feels good. <laughs> Feels good. OK. We're all set. So we're ready to test them out? Yes, sir. You heard the man. Climb into your Armada. Yes, yes sir. sir. Let's lock it low. Let's go. You heard the man. Let's go. Let's go. We ain't got time. Their exoskeletons have calcified exponentially, presumably due to the increased temperature in the core. Blaming it on global warming? Bone density isn't singular like a normal organism. It's layered. Compared to the last ones, these ones are making them look like crickets. This hadomorph is truly an incredible creature. <laughs> what is it with you? What? I, I don't know. You seem to admire these things. I'm studying the physical form of an unknown alien species. These hadomorphs have killed millions of people, okay? Forgive me if I'm not fascinated. Yeah, and you need to understand your enemy in order to defeat them. I know enough. Why are you even here? I was looking for an LDO to add to the bot's matrix interface, but apparently they have changed everything. Why an LDO? What, what would that do? It'll help with the response of the RR and with compliance, not by much, but at this point, we'll take what we can get. Hmm. Now, General Worthington, uh, 
he seems pretty willing to sacrifice his pilots. Now, you know him better than I do. You, you, we trust him not to push him too far? No, he knows what they're capable of. I wouldn't underestimate them. They're tougher than you think. This is not about being tough. When you link into the bot's matrix, it's a whole other level of strength that's required, and I know these armadas better than anyone else. You did. Been out of the game for a while now, Roth. I noticed. Spend years coding and programming these things to a T. I come back and there's Mickey Mouse code on it. Listen, I know it doesn't look like it used to, but we've made considerable progress. The armadas are the best they're gonna be. Obviously not. Otherwise, they wouldn't have brought me back. Don't just physically move. I want you to consciously concentrate on the movement. The neural interface will work faster with your brain motor impulse. Make sense? I think so. OK. Now you need to get a grasp on the delay time, OK? Bugs and Badge, you do the same. Come up with a movement for your bot. Copy. Copy. Keep working with it. You guys have to compensate for the lag time. It's the only thing that's going to save your life out there. OK, let's check on your weapon systems now. All right, party time. There's no delay in the weapon system. We have that going for us. Pilots, begin prep and final diagnostics. The creature is holding its position, and we're still unsure of its intentions. But it's causing mass destruction, and we need to get you into the field. Begin initial launch sequence. Roger. Copy. Retract over to arms. Main engine start. Copy that. Ready to launch. I say again, we're ready to launch. We're clear to lift off. All right. And engage boosters. Target is maintaining position. Approach vector south, southeast. Watch your velocity. How's everybody doing? Helm is a little slow to respond, but I can deal. This bot is barely responsive. Yeah. Let's get a little practice in along the way. Work out all the kinks now before we engage this thing.
You guys getting a hang of the lag time? Affirmative, sir. It's taking some getting used to, but we'll be okay. Bugs? Badger? Yeah, I'm good, sir. Same. John Killer, we have visual on bogey. I say again, we have visual on the bogey. And it's a lot bigger than I thought. General, this lag time is gonna kill him. You really want them operating without full control? That'll be fine, Dr. Roth. Giant killer? Awaiting instructions, giant killer. You are clear to engage, Hammer. I say again, you are clear to engage. You heard the man. We're clear to engage. Roger. Solid copy. Badger, bugs. Cover me. I'm sending rockets. Copy that. Giant killer? Direct hit on bogey. I say again, direct hit. Good job, Hammer. Can you confirm the creature is deceased? We'll move in for a closer look, giant killer. from here. I have to get out there. It's not a system error. It's a physical problem aboard the bot. Hammer, what's going on in there? Hang on, Hammer. Come in, Hammer. Oh, oh watch out. Yeah. yeah, I know. Buck, stay on this thing. I'm going to go and cover Hammer. General, I have to get out there, please, right now. Right. Let's go. Let's boogie. Dr. Horowitz, I need one of you to stay here. Hey! Doctor! Sorry, Doctor. I can't let you do that. It's too dangerous. I did a four-year residency in a trauma ward. We do not have time for this shit. We need to go. Hammer needs me. I'll shatter him loose. Stay close. Let's go! Let's go! Sorry, we'll be 
be fine. Almost there. Good. Stay calm, doctor. Stay calm. Oh, my God. Oh. I didn't know they made them that big. It's crazy. Hit the gas. We're all right. I'm a fair. Easy. How's our six doing right? Right, you're on six. Look, look, hold on, hold on. You can see air. What? Air coming out of his, his cockpit. That's the oxygen supply. How do we fix it? These robots are equipped with, with TAC units, just like spacecraft. Yeah. The impact from the tank probably knocked out the, the filtration, right? So we have, to, we have to seal the valve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to salvage the ECU and get the, uh, get the Armada back online. Okay. You do that. I'm going to take care of Hammer. Damn it, Bug! Shoot the damn thing! You're too close for the miss. I'm gonna have to use the Gatling. That's fine. Just do something. Engaging the Gatling gun. Easy, 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 easy. Sir, Lee. I'm on it, Bruce. Go down. I am going up. Hammer! Hammer! No response. <coughs> Your cockpit is filled with gas. We have to get Hammer out of here. Rob, you too. human species working together couldn't take this thing out. Damn it, Bugs! What in the hell are you doing? Badger, use your missile! Negative! It's too risky! Release it! You have a clear shot! Blow this son of a bitch away! I can't hold on to it forever! Missiles away! Disengage! Take cover! Take cover! Take cover! Killer copy. We have visual confirmation. Good work, Mr. Russo. What's the status on Hammer? Mr. Russo, where is Hammer? I say again, where is Hammer? Where's Hammer? He's dead. All right, 
I gotta get a closer look. No, 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 no. Look, no, back, I have to get closer, back. okay? If there are more things no, after no, like no. this, I need to learn everything I can. You might kill him, man. Bugs and Badger, Bugs and Badger, this is Russo. ASAP, ASAP. I need overview. Copy, giant killer. Copy. Let's go. Whoa. Karen, are you out of the city? No. I was, oh, we're looking for FEMA bunker. Are you still driving? I, I, no, uh, we had to go on foot. Karen, no, you cannot be on foot. Well, uh, I, I mean, we're okay for the moment. Mom. It got, got really quiet. Did you guys kill it? You need to get off the street. Mom. Find the room, lock yourselves in there now. I'll come for you. Uh, okay. Mom! Okay. What? Karen! Damn it. We'll reorganize. Mobilize ground troops. We'll send the Amadas back out. It's Overwatch. The ground troops can go building to building, street to street, to clear the insects. We can't let them get too far inland. We'll never be able to contain them. Negative. Absolutely not. No, that means way too many casualties, General. Civilians are bound to get caught up in the crossfire. It's too risky. We're moving to phase two. Copy. We'll implement phase two. Anyone care to tell me what phase two is? It's me, Dr. Roth. Bioweapons. You gotta be kidding me. Biological warfare? You can't come up with another alternative, like send in an airstrike or something? We did that, it didn't work. Well, whatever the hell you're gonna use, it's gonna go everywhere. You're talking about a major fallout. Dr. Roth, I'm not gonna drop a carpet bomb, okay? I'm gonna target the creature specifically. Your martyrs are back. What is it that you require, Dr. Horowitz, to begin phase two? 
I'm gonna need one of the spiders. I need to know what we're dealing with. I don't care what the UN thinks. Pull it up. Sorry, sir. We did what we could. Yeah. I mean, you did. You did what you could. We're gonna move forward with phase two. Get some rest until you're needed again. Badger, keep an eye on her, will you? Will do, sir. Get yourself checked out by a medic. I need a perimeter set around the outskirts of town. I want anything with more than two legs killed on sight. Copy. to do anything? We both are. We need you. You understand the robots better than anyone else, and that's exactly why you're here. But you need to learn how to follow the rules. And I make the rules. How is it that you make the rules about what the armadas can and cannot do when you yourself admit that I know more about them? Yes, but you're skeptical. You're full of doubt. And I know that those robots are more capable than you think. They could have been if Halstrom let me finish my work. Hey. I completely agree with you, okay? And on a separate note, I admit, you know, you're not who I expected you to be either. Did you say something nice to me? I'm just saying, I'm sorry that I misjudged you when I first met you. You misjudged me? Uh, with all due respect, you do carry a certain reputation. I do? You threw a chair out the window. Yeah. I need to know. If I can synthesize a targeted bioweapon, would you be able to reformat the armadas and disperse everything effectively? I would have to expend the resonance to amplify the power output, but yes, it's doable. We gotta get a vantage point those damn spiders, figure out where they're at, where they're grouping, where they're going to. We got any stragglers, any weak ones. How about you? How'd you end up running this team? Uh, my team was attacked by these things near San Diego. I had been uh, appointed to the DOD on scientific special operations. My people died because I hesitated on utilizing human assets in a war we were already losing. I said retreat. When I should have said attack. I was the only survivor that day. I may be a bit of an expert with DIA, DOD, and POTUS. We understand risk, Roth. It's all we have left. How's it looking? They're staying together offshore, but we got a few small groups that are breaking off and they are headed into town. We're gonna get a little company. It's gonna heat up here pretty quick, guys. Let's go ahead and get doctors back to lab. Doctor, Sir. Dad? I'm not going back. Absolutely not. It is way too dangerous out there. They're everywhere. We'll get you your spider back to the lab. Let's go. And what if you can't get a spider back to the lab? What if I need to take a tissue sample from the field? Are you familiar with taking tissue samples from the field and gathering them yourself, Mr. Russo? Lee. Right, check that. We'll take Dr. Roth back to lab, and we will head back out. No, I'm not going anywhere. It's a waste of valuable time. Besides, I could stay here and help out Horowitz.
Rousseau! I got activity in the front of that house. I don't like this. Easy, easy, stand down, take stand down. Oh. And you do not have the firepower or the manpower to take these things on in numbers. They're tearing this guy up, are you kidding me? If anything happens to you, Dr. Horowitz, this mission is a failure. Our best shot is to get one of these spiders alone, preferably dead. We can't get into a firefight with these things in numbers. Look! Right. Stay with him. Got it. Lee, stay tight. On you. Lee! I see him. I got the one through himself. Got the two to the left. On my five, three, one. Is down. Roth is coming to you. Ah! Why'd you learn a shit like that? I'm from New York. Come on, let's bang this thing up. I'm gonna play a little bit of pressure. It might sting a little bit. Bring it on. Relax. Relax? Hammer's dead. We need to get back out there ASAP. We need to calm down. I'd really recommend you relax for a day or two. To hell with that. I need to get back out there now. Are the bots ready? We'll have our chance. He's dead. I want them dead. We knew what we signed up for. I just can't believe he's gone. You know I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. Let me take another look. Okay, no, I'm, I need to go now. I can't release you. I'm not asking you. Then you're gonna have to sign some paperwork. Where's the damn pen? Three on three. One, two, three. Easy, easy, yeah. easy, 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 easy. Okay, drop it, guys. Drop it. 
No, we gotta leave it outside. I still don't know if this thing's giving anything off. I don't wanna contaminate the facility. Let's just bring all my equipment all out right, here. All right, got it. On three, on three. Three, two. This is Russo, this is Russo. I need you to bring down Dr. Horowitz's equipment ASAP. Repeat. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Really? Copy. You've got a phone call. I just lost a friend to one of these things. Make it quick. Hello? Larry, where the hell are you, man? I'm on the way back in. Listen, man, before that boat went down, we got a definite area on where those things are coming from. But we got an attack sub out here ready to go nuclear and blow these things out. Do you have any idea how big the tidal waves that thing would create? I get it, I get it. All right, what else do you have? There's much more, a whole lot more. There's fucking more of these things? Yeah, well, you're the one who predicted it, right? I wish I was wrong about that one. I know. Well, what are you guys doing about these spiders? And what about the Armada? Well, we nabbed one of the spiders. Horowitz is trying to figure out a pathogen to kill these things off, and I'm gonna figure out a way to adapt it to the Armadas and, and deploy it. Sounds like a plan. All right, I'll keep you posted as I know it. Great. Glad you're alive. Me too. You done? There's more? Yeah. What do you think? I think they look like ordinary arachnids, you know, with the exception to their size, of course. That could be due to radiation or, you know, we just discovered a new species. I won't know anything for sure until I cut that thing open. Let's go. Mr. Secretary, I understand nobody was prepared. Yeah, okay. Uh, look, if you need to mobilize more ground troops, then do it. General? Dr. Horowitz, equipment is set up, sir. Copy. Huh. See? Okay, so radiation levels seem to be normal, and it's not emitting any kind of toxins either. Well, that's good news. All right, so let's take a look inside you. That thing stinks. <laughs> huh. Well, this is interesting. There are definitely organs I can't identify here. I mean, usually with these things, you can figure them out if you have a general working knowledge of how the organism works, but this... <clears throat> Guys, this isn't carbon-based. All life on Earth is carbon-based. What are you saying, Doctor? These things are not from Earth? Whoa. So if these things aren't from Earth, then they're aliens. Well, if you have another hypothesis, I would love to hear it. Come on. Regardless whether they're aliens, the issue at hand is stopping these things. Of course, General. Keep me informed, please. I need to update the White House on our progress. OK, so you see this gland here? Yeah. So usually this would be used to expel salt from the body, right? But it seems to be covered with what I can only refer to as some sort of reverse plasma membrane. It's like crystallized salt. Yes, this organ is definitely storing salt, which actually would make a lot of sense because the reverse plasma membranes are probably drawing in sodium from the ocean in which it's living in. It's being stored in its glands and it's re-releasing it back into its system, just like our body does with insulin. Kind of like a... Camels storing fat in its hump. Right, that's a good analogy. Yeah. This is good news because if I can find a way to actually destroy these membranes, it would be a much better alternative than creating a pathogen that would actually pollute the environment and run the risk of hurting the population. Yeah. Excuse me. This is a triple gull closing in on the new sonar activity. Guys, I think there's something else under here. I'm out of here. Keep it going, keep it going. Come on, let's go. The U.S. 
USS Radiant is closing in on the location the intrepid Gull locked on before it was destroyed. The nuclear weapons are armed. Maybe this could be the way out. You know what I think. Atlantic Command, this is Commanding Officer Sterling of the USS Radiant. You seen these images? Atlantic Command, affirmative radiant. You are clear to sweep and destroy. I say again, you are clear to sweep and destroy. Copy that, Atlantic Command. Complying with orders to sweep and destroy. Forward torpedo room. I need tubes one through four ready to go with Mod 7 Sea Bass immediately. Copy command, Mod 7 Sea Bass, copy. Prepare for launch on my mark. And three, two, one, mark. Or not. You gotta be kidding me. It was destroyed. There's another creature out there. Creatures. I need to know if Dr. Horowitz has figured out a way to destroy these things. And I need those Amadas right now. Cappy. And that is how we kill them. The spiders are OK. But what's the possibility we have another larger creature? Well, I mean, my assumption is since the spiders came from the larger creature in the first place, they probably share the same genetic makeup and organs. So I don't see why they wouldn't. The Amadas will be the best option for deploying this agent. Do you agree? Absolutely. But how do we deploy this? The flame units. Hmm, brilliant. I'll just have to tweak them a bit. OK. Let's get on it ASAP. Keep a surprise, Doctor. We don't have much time. No time for that matter. You sure this is going to work? That's all we've got. Is that what you're looking for? Yeah, we could use a bigger one, 22 or 24, but it'll do for now. Hey, thank you for working with me. I'm glad we got to work together, even if it's the last day we're alive. <sighs> okay, Mr. Russo, let me know when you see the igniter light go out. All right, it's off. Aerial and naval surveillance have just confirmed two bogeys moving towards shore. Two. Jesus. Like a glove. That should do it. Locked and loaded. I suggest that we keep one as a backup. That sounds good to me. Very well. So is it ready? As ready as it's going to be. Where's the pilots? I can't stand this waiting around stuff. It drives me nuts. Bugs! Badger! Get you down in the hangar ASAP! Finally! Bugs! Wake up! It's time to go! Bugs! Get your ass up! It's time to go! Bugs! Bugs! Oh my god! Bug! Russo! Bugs! Badger, I need you down here ASAP! ASAP! Russo, you need to get down here! There's something wrong with Bugs! I turned her around and she's. 
I am losing good men right now. What the hell is going on? We have to quarantine them. We're not letting them out of there. She caught a contagion. All right, if we don't have any pilots to fly the armadas, how are we gonna stop these things? Wait, do you mean to tell me, General, that we don't have any pilots left? We do, but not at this location. I mean, this was all so sudden. We were extremely unprepared. It's gotta be me. Doc, can anybody get into those damn things? Are you brain mapped? No, that is why I'm asking. Yes, you do. We can outfit you with Bugs' rig, but the lag time will be even greater. Everyone's brain mapping is slightly different, and I have no idea how the Armada is going to work for you. We have no other choice. Put me in the damn thing. Just put me in there. I'll take the other one. No, I need you to stay down here and watch my back. Okay? No, I'm going to pilot the other Armada. I cannot put you in control of a billion-dollar robot doctor. General, the Armada's AI works off of our brain impulse. I'm already brain mapped. I have the least amount of lag time. No. And, you know, quite frankly, we have no other choice. We can't send this man up alone. No. Let someone else do it. <laughs> you worried about me, Harwood? Maybe. And it's Andrea. JP. What's that stand for? If I come back alive, I'll let you know. Then come back alive. So, you guys are ready? All set. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's do it up. I have eyes on the target. Roger. ETA two minutes. Copy that. Make sure the target's attacked before we get there. Russo, change your LSAT to 070328. Standing by for activation. Got it. Signal loud and clear. This should make it easier for the missiles to hit the targets. Go get them, Russo. Doc, make sure you stay behind me. I'll take the brunt of all the attacks. When I give the word, you go ahead and deploy the aerosol attack. You got that? Will do. Are you seeing what we're seeing down here? Wow, what the hell are they doing? All the spiders are attaching themselves to a larger creature. All right, now stay back. Don't get eager. Let me take the pass first, and we'll see how they react. Russo, watch out. The big one's going for you. I'm coming in, Russo. Negative, stay back. Mr. Russo, you've got a lot of spiders headed your way. Yeah, yeah, I know, Doc, but this damn AI. <laughs> serious lag, serious lag. Okay! 
I am low on ammo, I am low on ammo. Fall back while using the rocket. Stay at a safe distance, I repeat, stay at a safe distance. Copy that? Gotcha. Fix that damn flamethrower. Put it online. We gotta get that damn thing online. Uh, please tell me you're seeing this. Yes. Giant killer, did you get this feed? Yes, Mr. Russo. We see it. It looks like they're killing each other. What the hell is that thing? I don't know what to make of this. Roth, what you thinking? I have no idea. It's recombining. What the hell does that mean? It's got recombinant proteins. It's becoming one organism. I think you're right. Dr. Roth, have you figured out a way to release the pathogens yet? No, not yet. Give me the backup canister, I'm going out there. No, 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 no. You're not going out there alone, that's suicide. I'm going. All right, I'll go with you, I'll escort you. Keep you safe, we'll get them back, okay? Protect your Lee, she's our last resort. Yes, sir.
Negative, but I have an idea. I'm gonna jam this flamethrower's arm down this thing's neck. The acid should eat its way through the fuselage and release the aerosol. Crazy, Rod. It's crazy. I like it. 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 Hold up, guys. No need for the backup caster just yet. Let me try this first. Roth, are you sure? I don't like this. This thing is way too strong. You might want to consider weakening it first. And how do you suggest we do this? Missiles aren't exactly accomplishing anything, and I don't know what will. I know what will do it. Just gotta be direct and precise. Russo, I don't like that tone. That's what you said in Tripoli, man. What is it? Karen. Your wife? Yeah. Looks like she's in a building a half mile away from here. Let's go get her. No. We need to be Roth and Russo's backup. Lee! We got this. Go get your wife and daughter. Here's what we gotta do first. I'm gonna ram into that son of a bitch. But you gotta finish the job. That's not necessary, so just hang in there. I'm coming in. Shut up. Let's do what the hell I'm telling you. I'm my signal. Ready? Ready? Here you go. Russo, no! That's all you got. okay safe and sound thank you for that doctor okay now we need to get to Roth before the acid eats through his cockpit hang on doc this could get squirrely here take it right doc get Roth I'll cover you from here Can you hear me? Dr. Roth. Dr. Roth. Can you hear me? Oh, fuck. Dr. Roth. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hey. It's 
me, it's Andrea. It's what happened? You killed them. That's what happened. You're a hero. We got you out of here, okay? You okay? Come on. We gotta go quick. Come on. James Patrick. What? That's my name. I told you I'd tell you if I made it out alive. <laughs> well, James, I'm glad you're not dead. Me too. This feeling so intense descends upon 